Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go to IXL. We're gonna get everything to speak to you today. So I would like you to, well, let's see, you already know your IXL, so go ahead and let's just start out with writeshift.4, type in Chrome, open up basic Chrome, and you can just hit IXL and it should pop right into it, okay? Or I have a question, do you wanna navigate classroom a little bit more to get more comfortable with it? What would you like to do? Do you wanna go into classroom to get the link or just type in the link? Type it in. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. Right shift dot four it is. Go to your search window. Cortana. Okay, and type in Chrome, either G for Google or Chrome will work. G. Box game bar app. Press right to switch preview. That was not given O. <laughs> you have to type a little more. Oh, back up and sync from Google app. Press right to switch preview. A little bit more. What's the other? Uh, we could do Chrome. So you hit your start key and close it. So you can do right shift dot four to close it, right shift dot four to open it, and we can do Chrome instead. Good, right shift, good. And right shift, good. And type in Chrome, how about CH? CH sign? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 sweetie. We remember we always want to do uncontracted. And I'm, I'm assuming we're in uncontracted mode, but maybe we want to just check that out first because we have to be in uncontracted. We have to turn our contractions off for math anyway. So do you want to just quickly check that? Off. Beautiful. You, you're good. CH. And not the contraction. You do a C, then an H. C calculator app, press right to switch okay. preview. A check for updates, system uh -huh. settings, press right to switch preview. R camera app, press camera? right to switch preview. You, no, I know. Down arrow, sweetie, you've done enough letters while well, it's populated so you can down arrow. Oops. Hold on. You're Let's good. Eight. You're good. Just go ahead. Perfect. Google Chrome desktop. Okay. Press right to switch preview. And enter. Hmm. Cap on title. Cap Google. Cap Chrome. Search region. Cap search edit combo. To navigate, say move up one or move down one or dictate a value. Go ahead and Alt D. And you're going to do I and an X. And IXL should pop right up. Alt D. Whoops. I just press something. That's okay. Just wait a couple seconds and then go ahead and try it again. Is it good? Uh, yeah, you're ready to do Alt D. Yep. Yep. You've waited long enough. Nice. Cap address and search bar edit https slash slash www.google.com slash safe equals active and sui equals text control plus L. Just give me an I and it should start to populate. I all caps voice all caps name equals cap normal cap voice I slash all caps voice voice name equals normal voice excel.com slash voice. Okay, so you've actually done enough because IXL opened up. But we can down, we're going to down arrow. And do you want to do add or subtract today? Subtract. OK, so you're going to down arrow until you hear subtract numbers. Actually, you know what? I wonder if up arrow would work. Will you up arrow one time for me? I want to see if it will work on your machine. Yes. Voice name equals normal voice HTTPS slash slash www.exel.com slash math slash grade three slash subtract numbers up to three digits slash voice. Voice name equals normal voice three digits slash voice. Enter. 
Voice name equals normal voice HTTPS slash slash www.exel.com slash math slash grade three slash subtract numbers up to slash. Rudy's Gabby. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have your phone right by you so you can also ask Siri questions? I can go get it. Fabulous. Thank you, Mom. Okay, so we've changed this so you should only have to up arrow into your lines or table of math. Now, the problem we were having is in tables, it only reads one cell at a time. So we have a command. I've been practicing it because I, of course, got this, uh, this <laughs> idea about 20 minutes ago. So I've been diligently on my browser display working furiously, trying to see how it was going to work for you. So I want you to up arrow to your top row and up arrow should work now. Now we've got to move through your cells. Oh, you could do control all up arrow too. Oh, that's a, that's an idea. Okay. Let's do up arrow first. So up arrow, keep going. Up arrow. Yep. Keep going. Up. Perfect. Nine. Good. Up arrow. Two. Yep. One more. And dash. Two. Okay. You can stop right there. Uh, actually, we'll see if it stops right there. To read the whole line. Okay. Let me get my cheat sheet out because I've been practicing. Like I said, I've only been doing this. Control N. Okay. So to read the whole line, you're going to do Windows, Alt, and Comma. Does that sound like an easy command? <laughs> Here's how you're going to do it. Okay, so we can actually combine the <laughs> Windows and the Alt key, okay? So you need to do, and, you, and I know you've got your sequence down, four, six, eight, and space all together, and then you're going to do a dot six for comma. And you already, I know, you're like, what? It'll make more sense once you do it, okay? Yeah. So four, six, eight, and space first. Tell me when you've done that, and then you're going to hit a dot six, okay? Wait, four, six? I'm confused. Okay, so we can, act, so you know how the command is alt, windows, comma? We can actually combine the alt and the windows command together. I know, I didn't know that either, but I kept trying Alt and then Windows and it didn't work. So I just thought, well, I'm going to combine them. So that's literally Alt and Windows command together, okay? So I'm already finding out some really interesting things on what we can do with your brother's play. So you just need to, what do you want to, yeah, so think about how you want to hold these down. Four and six, Let's see, or do you want to, you could do eight in space. Well, you, you know how your fingers. You'll figure it out. Just tell her all the buttons she Yeah, does. four, six, eight in yeah. space. Yeah, and then mom. Yeah, we four, need to six, do eight four, six, eight in space. And then you're going to let go of it. And then you're just going to do dot six. Wait, don't forget eight. Yep, yeah, four, six, eight in space. Yep. Let go. And then dot six. And dot six. All right, get a dot six in there. 372. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 372. 372. I want you to practice that command again because you're going to be using it a lot. Okay. So let's it's like see. magic. It is like magic. So four, six, eight in space together. Let's just try it one more time. And then a dot six. JC. Whoops. That's okay. Wait a couple seconds. Okay, and then try it again. Is it gone? It is. It should be. You only have to usually typically wait a few seconds in between. Three hundred seventy-two. Nice. Okay. So now you're going to down arrow to your next row. So just down arrow one time. Wait, that's right. Right? Uh, you just have to down arrow, sweetie. Rocker bar down one time. And dash. Perfect. 
N dash is a minus, okay? The reason why they call it N dash is minus is like a tiny line, N dash, they've actually made it longer, and for whatever reason, they called it N dash, okay? So whenever you hear that, just know that it's minus. Okay, so we need to know what we are subtracting from 372. So you're gonna do the command again, four, six, eight in space, and then a dot six. Cool. I know, you're getting good. Every day if I wanted to. Okay, four, six, eight in space, and then dot six. N dash 29. Okay, N dash 29, I know, don't we love that? Okay, so now we need to practice asking Siri that. Now, do you remember what your first number is? 300, um, 372. Good. And if you can't remember, because where, where I'm trying to go here is that you can do these all by yourself because as you know, you've got lots of sisters and mom is really, really busy. So we <laughs> yeah. Get you where, yeah, we wanna get you to the point where you can do this all by yourself because of course you can be getting better and faster at math independently and then mom can help you know everybody okay so okay. i'm sure we can get you here <clears throat> so you're gonna say and we'll practice it first then you can ask siri so you're gonna say hey you know who what <laughs> is 372 minus 29. go ahead and practice that Wait, can I listen to yours first? Oh yes, absolutely. <clears throat> hey Siri, what is 372 minus 29? 372 minus 29 is 343. Okay, 343. Now remember, you don't have to wait for her to talk to you. You just say her name and you ask the question. So the only thing that we're gonna practice right now is just saying, what is 372 minus 29? So just start there, okay? Do I need to practice saying it? Yeah, we're just, and that's the reason why we're not gonna say her name yet. Just say, what is 372 minus 29? What is 372 minus 29? Perfect. Let's do it one more time before we ask her. What is 372 minus 29? What is 372 minus 9? 29. 29. Mm -hmm. And when you're by yourself, because I know you're going to get here, if you forget the numbers, all you have to do is up arrow, and then do your command, that new special command, four, six, eight, and space, and then six, and, and JAWS will repeat 372, then you're gonna down arrow, and you're gonna hear N dash, if you're doing subtraction, and you do it again, four, six, eight, and space, and then dot six, and it will say 29. So JAWS is there to remind you of your, what your numbers are, so you can practice it. So you're always gonna to wanna to practice it first before you ask Siri, okay? So let's try it one more time. What is 372 minus 29? What is 372 minus 29? You're ready. You're ready to ask Siri. Okay, go ahead. Hey Siri, what is 372 minus 29? 372 minus 29 is 343. Beautiful. Okay, now as soon as you know the answer, you're gonna move down arrow back into your blank edit cells. And you're gonna hear two nine first before you go down to your edit cells. So down arrow. Rocker bar down. Two. Good, again. Nine. Yep, and again. Blank, edit, edit, dictate text. And you know you're in the right spot because we hear that pop, okay? And what was the answer again? Can I see cord? Because I... Uh, this is on your phone. So C cord is great 
for your computer, but you need to actually ask Siri again if you forget the answer. And you will, sweetie, because I'm teaching you the commands also. So just ask her again, what is 372 minus 29? Hey Siri, what is 372 minus 29? 372 minus 29 is 343. Okay. 343. Yeah, 343. It's a big number. It is, it is. So uh, you're in your hundreds, of course, 343. So type a three. We're braille three. Remember, now it's code. Three, edit, dictate, text. Braille of four. Four, edit, dictate, and text. Braille of three. Three. Nice. And hit enter to submit. IXL subtract numbers up to three digits, third grade math table, column four, row five, call four, row five, edit, dictate, text. Oh. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, so you're going to go up arrow. You know, I'm wondering if I should teach you control all ever. So and then, then that. if I teach you control up arrow, you can literally move up one mm -hmm. column at a time. So you'd only have to control all up arrow twice instead of up arrowing one, two, three, four times. So I think I'm gonna show you control all up arrow, okay? Okay. Okay, now once again, control and all are modifier keys. So we get to combine it like we did with the alt and the windows, okay? So we know control is three eight in space and we know that alt is six eight in space. So you need to do three, six, eight in space as a command before you hit rocker bar up, okay? Okay. Here we go. Three, six, eight in space, and then you're gonna let up and then rocker bar up. Edit. Well, that was really nice, but he didn't move. Okay, I'm gonna have to work the bugs out of that one, okay? Okay. Oh yeah, so go ahead and up arrow until you get to the top number. Edit. Yep, keep edit. going. Yep, we always gonna have here three edits. Five. Okay, keep going. Oh. Yep. And dash. Yep, as soon as you hear the end dash, you have to only rock or bar up one more time and then we do our row read, okay, up arrow. Six. You're ready. Okay, so what's the command to read the row of numbers? Um, control. Four, oh. six, eight in space, okay. Oh. I'm just gonna keep telling you until it's burned into your brain cells, okay? You're gonna okay. do four, six, eight in space, and then Wait, dot. <laughs> so four, six, eight in space, and then when you let up on that, you're just gonna do a dot six. Three hundred ninety-six. Okay, so let's get that in your brain. Let's say it a couple times. Three hundred ninety-six. Three hundred ninety-six. Okay, now you. Three hundred and ninety-six. One more time. Three hundred and ninety-six. Mm -hmm. You actually don't have to say the word and, and it might be better because remember, it, you have to say three hundred ninety-six minus something. So, and it might make it smoother. So try just 396, okay. 396. Yeah, it's not such a big mouthful. Okay, one more time, 396. 396. Good, let's see what we are subtracting from 396. Okay, rocker bar down. And dash. Good. As soon as you hear n dash, what does n dash mean again? It means like you subtract numbers. That's right. Subtraction or minus. Okay, so we need to read the row so it will read to us. 
four, six, eight in space. Kind of think, really think about that four, six, eight in space because you're going to do a lot of it. Four, six, eight in space, and then let up and do a dot six. And that's 45. Whoa. Yeah. Big number here. So now you're going to need to say what is 396 minus 45. Go ahead and try that. What is, um, I'm stuck. That's okay. What is 396 minus 45? What is 396 minus 45? Nice. One more time. What is 396 minus 45? What is 396.45? You got to say minus. One more time. Minus. Yeah. Because <laughs> Siri's going to go, well, I don't know what you want me to do with 396.45. Okay? Let me do it on my phone, and then you can uh, practice it yourself. Okay? Hey, Siri, what is 396 minus 45? 396 minus 45 is 351. Okay, 351. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, give it a go. Hey Siri, what is 396 minus... 396 oh. is an integer. 396 is I wasn't fast enough. No <laughs> That's right. That's okay. So you just let, you know, give her a couple seconds to go away. And so let's just practice it one more time. What is 396 minus 45? What is 396 minus 45? Good, nice and smooth. Okay, go ahead and ask her. Hey Siri, what is 396 minus 45? 396 minus 45 is 351. So you just want to tell yourself that 51. 351, 351. So we need a rocker bar down until we hear that pop. Okay, rocker bar down until you hear your pop. Four, five, blank, edit. Beautiful. Oh, I heard yeah, that. Cool, huh? Okay, three. We need to do 351. So three. 3, edit, dictate text. 5. What? 5. Remember, it's 351. 351 yeah. is 351. So we need a 5. 5, edit, dictate and text. And a 1. 1. Beautiful. And enter. I Excel subtract numbers up to three digits, third grade math, table, column four, row five, goal four, row five, edit, dictate text. Nice. Okay. We need a rocker bar up until we get to our top number. Remember, you're listening for N dash, and then you up arrow one more time. Okay. Rocker bar up. Edit. Edit. Yep. Edit. Keep going. Five, one, and dash. One more time. Six. Okay. So now we know we're in a top row, and our read row command is four, six, eight, and space. So really think about that. Four, six, eight, space, and then let up, and then do a dot six. Okay. Okay. Nine hundred seventy-six. No, we love that. Nine hundred seventy-six. Yeah, let's practice that a couple times. Nine hundred seventy-six. Nine hundred seventy-six. Again, nine hundred seventy-six. Nine hundred seventy-six. That is really close to one thousand. Oh my gosh, these big, big numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, 976, let's say it one more time because we need to see what we're going to subtract it from. 976. 976. 
good. Rock our bar down till you hear N dash. N dash. Nice. Okay, we need to do the read all command. Do you remember, or I mean the read row command. Do you remember what it is or do you need help? What's the read row command? Forks, four, four, six, eight, space. And then what? Then dot six. Excellent. Please do so. Wait, do I need to ask? Uh, okay, N dash 15. Well, we have to find out what we have to subtract it from, and then we'll say the words, and then we'll ask Siri, okay? okay. And what I'm actually thinking is, instead of having you to um, remember what Siri's saying, how about we rock our bar down into our edit box so you're all ready to braille the answer. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's rock our bar down until you hear a pop. One. Five. And that refreshes our memory. Edit, edit, One, edit, five, edit, edit. 15. Okay, so let's practice. What is 976 minus 15? Go ahead. What is 976 minus 15? Beautiful. What is 976 minus 15? What is 976 minus 15? Good. I'll ask Siri first. Hey Siri, what is 976 minus 15? 976 minus 15 is 961. Okay, 961. Let's see if you get the same answer. You ready yes. to ask Siri? Go ahead. Yeah. Hey Siri, what is 976 minus 15? Okay, I found this on the web uh, for what is that's 976 okay. minus. Can we practice again? Because Yes, it. yeah. What is 976? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. What is 976 minus 15? What is 976 minus 15? Mm -hmm. And you already know, if you don't do it really smoothly with Siri, you just wait until she finishes, you wait a couple seconds, and then you just ask her again, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead and ask her again. Hey Siri, what is 976 minus 15? 976 minus 15 is 961. Okay, so now all you have to do is start brailing out 961. So I think this is going to be easier this way. So let's do a nine. We would be way old if we turned that age. Nine. We would be very old. We won't walk, walk, right? Give me a six. Most people don't live past 100. So yeah. In Bible days, they used to live that long. Three. Edit. Oops. Dictate text. Hold on. It's no big deal. Backspace. No biggie. Blank, edit, dictate text. Beautiful. Uh, I'm actually glad you made a mistake because you'd never made a mistake before and it's nice to know that you can erase it that easy. Yeah, well, I have made tons of mistakes. Yeah, you're pretty good. Give me a six. Six, edit, dictate text. And give me a one. One. And now what do we do? Just say, yep, that's what I want. IXL subtract uh, number of the three digits, third grade math, table, column four, row five, okay. call four, row five, edit, dictate text. Okay, now remember, you're going to up arrow until you hear N dash, and then you know you need to up arrow one more time, okay? Okay. Okay, up arrow. Edit. 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 Eight, four, and dash. In dash means minus. Zero. Good. Okay, we need to read the row first. What's our row command? Four, six, eight, space. Alert, explain. Your internet connection is unstable. Uh-oh. That's okay. 
Go ahead, 468 in space. Eight hundred ten. Eight hundred ten. Let's say that a couple times. Eight hundred ten. Again. Eight hundred ten. Beautiful. Okay, let's find out what we're subtracting from eight hundred and ten. Rock of our day on. And dash. There's our end dash. Mm-hmm. Eight. Four eight or forty-eight. But how about we have the read all command just so we can hear it nice and fluidly. So 810 minus, go ahead and do your row read. And that's 48. Nice. So you're going to say, what is 810 minus 48? What is 8? 810 minus 48. Mm -hmm. And we can even take the and out. What is 810 minus 48? What is 810 minus 48? Let's do it one more time. What is 810 minus 48? What is 800 minus? <laughs> and then that's where you just stop talking, let Siri finish. <laughs> Let's try it again. What is 810 minus 48? What is 810 minus 48? Nice. Okay, let me do it first. Hey Siri, what is 810 minus 48? 810 minus 48 is 762. 762. Let's see if you get the same answer. Hey Siri, what is eight, the 810 minus 48? 810 minus 48 is 762. Same. Nice. 762, you got the same answer. Go ahead, rocker bar down. We forgot to do that. Rocker bar down. Blank, edit, edit, okay. edit, text. 762, braille out your answer. Seven first? Yep. Seven, edit, dictate text. What comes next? 100. Well, 700, the answer was 762, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the seven was in the hundreds. Now we need to do a six, which is in the tens. 762. Six, edit, dictate text. And two. And two. Two. Okay, what do we say? How do we hit, what key do we hit to say, yep, that's what I want? IXL subtract numbers up to three digits, third grade math, table, column four, row five, call 405, edit, dictate text. Nice job. Okay. Do you think you can rock or bar up to where you need to be without any help from me? Yes. Okay. Tell me if you need help. Go ahead. Edit. 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 Eight. Five. And dash. Three. Okay. Do you think you can do row read all by yourself? Yes. Good. Eight hundred seventy-three. <gasps> oh my effect. goodness! I know. They give big numbers. Let's practice that a couple times. Eight hundred seventy-three. Eight hundred seventy-three. Again. Eight hundred seventy-three. How about one more time? 873. Good. Are you ready to rock a bar down and see what you're going to subtract from it? Yes. Okay. And dash. Okay. Five. Mm hmm You want to do a row read? Yes. Yes, absolutely. So we know how to read the number.
Ed Nash, 58. Good. Say 50, minus 58. Minus 58. Okay, do you remember what the first number is? 800. Wait. 873. Good. Let's pretend you really did forget. Okay? So I want you to actually rock our bar back up. We're just going to pretend you do not remember it's 873. Okay? This is just how you remind yourself what the number is. But rock our bar up. You know, you need to hear N dash and then you go up. So go ahead and go up. N dash. Again. Three. Okay, do the roll read. Let's pretend you really did forget. Eight hundred seventy-three. Okay, that's all you have to do when you forget. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Eight hundred seventy-three minus what? Fifty-eight. Good. Okay, so let's practice that a couple of times. 873 minus 58. 873 minus 58. Again. 873 minus 58. And one more time. 873 minus 58. Good. Let's go ahead and rock our bar down to our edit box so we're all ready to braille out the answer. And that Five, eight, blank, edit, edit, dictate text. Okay, go ahead and ask Siri. Hey Siri, what is 873 minus 58? 873 minus 58 is 815. 815. 815, go ahead. That's a big number. It is, go ahead and get it, give me an eight. Eight, edit, dictate text. Do you remember what she said? Um, 58. Ooh, okay. That's what she's subtracting. Ask her, ask, ask her the problem again. What is 873 minus 58? Just check your answer. Hey Siri, what is 873 minus 58? 873 minus 58 is 815. Okay, so she's reminding you, 815. Okay, how do you write 15? One five. Good. Give me a one. One. Edit. Dictate text. And a five. Five. How do we say, yep, that's what I want. I Excel subtract I numbers up to three digits, third grade math, table, column four, row five, call four, row five, edit, dictate text. Okay. Do you think you can get all the way to the top row all by yourself? Yes. Okay. Edit. 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 Oh, you need to, you need to keep going till you actually hear the math problem, sweetie. You're in your edit oh. boxes still. You need to keep going. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I know I heard you do the read all command and it's like, we have to actually get up to the math problems. Remember, you need to listen for N dash and then you up arrow one more time. Okay? One. One. Keep going until you hear N dash. Three. N dash. Then, uh, Keep going. Five. Okay. Now you can do the read row command. Eight hundred 
835. Okay, just practice that a couple times before you move. 835. 835. Again. 835. One more time. 835. Okay, let's see what we are subtracting it from. Should we go down? Yes, we should. <laughs> Just trying to remember. A dash. Okay, let's do a row Me. read. Okay, that's fine. You can move in. Okay, do a row read. Okay. A dash 31. Okay. So say 31 a couple times. 31. Again. 31. Okay, what was the first number? 835. Good. Now say the whole problem together. What is 835 minus 31? Ooh. Can we practice? Yes. You say it next. What is 835 minus 31? One more time. What is 835 minus 31? Beautiful. Are you ready to ask Siri? Yeah. Let's rock our bar down into your edit boxes first so we're ready to braille out your One. answer. Blend, edit, edit, dictate text. Okay, go ahead and ask Siri. Hey Siri, what is 835 minus 31? 835 minus 31 is 804. 804. 804, okay, let's yeah, it out. That's, that's the same thing. It, let's do it. 804. 804. Give me an eight. Low H. What? I, I pressed the right dots. I know. I wonder if you popped out of the right mode. I think we better check to make sure your contractions are off, sweetie. Because it should not say low H. Actually, backspace over the, la the low H before you do. Um, low H. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, it sounds like it went into contracted mode. Go ahead, turn your contractions off. Don't know why it did that, but that was exciting. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And that's really good that you noticed that because when you're doing four, six, eight in space, it may, you know, we are humans, we goof all the time. So if you know if you hear low H or low D, you know somehow your contractions went on. Okay, you are ready to braille an eight, and we should actually hear eight this time. <laughs> I know that was pretty exciting. Yeah. Bless his heart. Eight, edit, dictate text. Give me a zero. Oh boy, zeros are the best. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Four, edit, dictate text. Uh, four, three minus three. What is three minus three? Ask Siri what 831 minus 31 is again, please. Hey Siri, what is 800 m minus 35? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> minus 35 is 765. Oops. 800 minus 35 is 765, but that's not quite the right problem. Oops. Right. Remember, you're supposed to ask her what is 835 minus 31. Oh my goodness. Yeah, try that problem. <laughs> A what again? Okay, let's pretend you're here by yourself, okay? First of all, I want you to backspace over that four. Blank, edit, dictate text, yeah. blank, edit, dictate text. Okay, now you need to rock a bar up and listen to that first number. Let's start it all over. Number. Like okay, rock a bar up. How is this not responding? Are you hitting rock a bar up? Table in. Yes. Oh, table end. Okay. Edit, edit, now dictate text. Okay, go ahead, rock a bar up now. Oh. Okay. Like, 
Yeah, if you hit a wrong, if you hit enough wrong commands, sweetie, you're just gonna have to hit F5 and re refresh your page, please. Okay. So okay. I think that we're at the point where your your computer says way too many wrong commands are hit. I'm mad now. <laughs> so just hit your F5, refresh your page, please. Oh wait, F5? You mean F5? F5 all by itself is the refresh command. Remember, five is E. Okay, please give me an F5. Wait, five H space? What, wait. One H space and then an E, right? Cool. F5. I don't hear anything. I did it right. I don't hear anything either. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, did I say one, six, eight in space? No, no, no. Wait, F4. F4. No, we just need F4. No, F5. We need, we just need F5. We just need F5. So one, eight in space and then an E. Okay, one eight in space, and then an E. Try it again. Okay. <laughs> Bless my brain's heart. Make sure it's an E. Yeah, I pressed it. It just didn't say anything. I don't think it worked. <laughs> Let me think. Oh, I know, you can do Alt-D and hit enter again. That will refresh it. Oh, so I'm, I'm not sure why yeah. F5 doesn't work. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, it usually it works, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. usually yeah, does. It's like, but mm -hmm. you know, we a lot of internet and a slow internet, so we always need another way to do it. So let's do Alt-D and hit enter. That will also do it. Alt-D. Cap and complete answer dialog. You did not finish the question. Do you want to go back to the question? Cap go back button. Okay, that will also work. Hit enter on go back. Enter oh. table column four, row mm -hmm. five. Edit call four row five. Edit dictate text. Excellent. Now you can rock or bar up. So that's another way to do it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Because we always need more than one way. But F five should always work. But it didn't. Okay. Rock or bar up. We're going to pretend you totally have forgotten the math problem, which I think at this point you probably have. <laughs> Rock or bar up. And remember, you're listening for N dash, and you need to go up one more time. Rock or bar up. Edit. Good. You're going to hear three of those. Keep going. Edit. Good. Keep going. Edit. Keep going. Edit. Uh, uh, up, sweetie. You just went back down. Edit. Keep going. One. Good. Keep going. Three. Keep going. And dash. And one more time. Five. Do you remember what row read is? Yeah. Okay, please give me a row read. Eight hundred thirty-five. Okay, say that a couple times, please. Eight hundred thirty-five. Good. One more time. Eight hundred thirty-five. Good. Let's see what we are subtracting from eight hundred thirty-five. Go ahead and go down one. And dash. Okay. Three. Okay, row read. Say that 10 times fast. Row read, row read, row read, row read. <laughs> oh. 
Alt Windows Enter. Capcom complete answer dialog. You did not finish the question. Do you want to go back to the question? Cap go back. Gotta go back. Yes, right. Because you accidentally hit enter instead, so just hit enter and go back. Beautiful job. Column four, row five, edit. Call four, row five, edit. Dictate text. Now, when you accidentally hit enter, it does put you back at the edit boxes. So you still need to go up arrow and find out what you're subtracting from 835. So rock or bar up until you hear the first number. Edit. 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 <laughs> One. Okay, you can stop there because you already know the first one is 835. Do a row read and find out what you're subtracting from 835. And that's 31. Okay, so say that a couple times, 835 minus 31. 800, wait, I'm stuck again. Yeah, just say, what is 835 minus 31? 835 minus 31. I think you're getting tired, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you're doing great. It's like Last one, try it again. What is 835 minus 31? What is 835 minus 31? Okay, rock or bar down to your first edit box so you're ready to braille the answer. Blank, edit, edit, dictate text. Okay. So ask okay. Siri what 835 minus 31 is. Hey Siri, what is 835 minus 31? 835 minus 31 is 804. Okay, 804, sweetie. And you might have thought when you did eight and a four was 804. Think of it as 800 and, and if you have to say and, it's gonna be a zero. So 800, Whoa. yeah, yeah, 800 and four. So 800 is in the hundreds, because we just said 800 but it's 804 and Siri says it 804 and it can kind of be deceptive because you're thinking you're going to do 84. But if you did 84, that would be 840. Okay. So when she says 804, I want you to put the word and in there and know you're going to do a zero. Okay. Cause okay. four is in the ones. Okay, good. So you're going to do eight zero four. Okay. 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 Here we go. No, wait, braille it out? Yes, in Nemeth, please. 804. Eight, edit, dictate text. Yeah. Four. No, no. She said 804, remember it's 804. When you have to say and, it's gonna be a zero. 804 is 804, okay? Because your eight is in the hundreds, zero is in the tens, you have no tens, okay? And you have four ones, so do a zero. Zero, edit, and do dictate a four, text. and I'm going to have you do a row read. Do a four. Four. Okay. Now do a row read so you can hear it. I do not hear anything. I do not either. Try it again. Four, six, eight, and space. Mm -hmm. Let up and hit dot six. What? Comma. Yeah. No, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you did four, six, eight in space and dot six and you didn't get anything? Yeah. Okay, I will play around with that. Um, I will just keep coming up with commands for you as you need them. Go ahead and hit enter, enter and you can solidify that name or that word. Edit four. 
Table, column four, row five, call 405, edit, Excellent. dictate text. So what I suggest, because we've been working for more than an hour, and I think your brain is a little tired, and mm -hmm. by the way, you have got 76, you have an honors medal, and I'm going to show you how to read your scores later also. But I want you to really practice on, on the commands. So I need to figure out how you're going to do control, alt, up and down arrow. Okay, let me write myself a note. You need control, alt, uh, up and down arrow. And I need to figure out how you're going to do a row read on your answer. Got it. Row read on answer. Okay, cool. We're making progress. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're doing great. And you are up to triple digit minus triple digit now. That's the thing about getting so many right. Your problems keep getting harder. <laughs> okay, I'll hang up on you and then take a little break. And then uh, if you've got time, and I'm sure mom will let you know, you can come back and keep practicing this. If you forget the commands, just wait for us again and we'll go over these again with you. And I've got- I'm to watch the video because I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Okay, and I was just gonna say,